The story about protecting the Southeast Bering Sea and Bristol Bay started in 1974 when the U.S. Department of the Interior first began to study the possibility of offshore oil and gas leasing in the region. In the early years, Governor Jay Hammond succeeded twice in persuading the federal government not to lease in Bristol Bay because of the high fishery values and the overall sensitivity of the region. The Interior Department scheduled lease sale 92 in the North Aleutian Basin. It was proposed to be 32 million acres. Uh, in December, I, I brought suit against the Department, Department of the Interior on the Bristol Bay issue. There were several stages in which the court allowed the sale to halt, at least temporarily. But in the end, the court ruled that the sale could go forward. And so I, it seems to me I wrote a letter to, to Congressman Sidney Yates and asked him to uh, delay indefinitely the uh, decision on Bristol Bay. A month after he sent that letter to Congress, something terrible happened and everything changed. I will never forget the, the reports that I saw on TV. You know, when I watched those fishermen crying on TV about the loss of their fish, you know, it, it, it just broke my heart. Alaskans all across the board, we were able to prevail in getting a buyback of those leases. All of a sudden, everything got reversed and we were vulnerable again. And I thought that would never, never, ever happen. But it did. We want a more permanent way to protect the Bristol Bay region. Whatever shape that takes, it's going to be better than just withdrawing it for another five years, let's say. Five years goes by in a blink of an eye, and it's just too much bait out there for large corporations. We want some resolve. We want some assurances that our future is going to be intact in a pristine Bristol Bay, that we're going to have our salmon runs to Bristol Bay, that we're going to keep our clean water to Bristol Bay. And uh, I think this nation owes Bristol Bay an answer on offshore oil and gas.